Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the notion of a primitive root modulo n. So, um, building up towards that definition, we have the following. So, the order of an element a modulo n is the smallest number m, where a to the m is congruent to 1 mod n. And here, we're generally uh, taking the rule that the GCD of a and n is 1. And then we have this important fact that the order of A modulo N must divide phi of N, which makes phi of N like an upper limit for this uh, order of an element. And that upper limit is important, and that brings us to the next definition, which is the following. So we say a number R is a primitive root modulo N, if its order modulo N is phi to the N. So if we hit that upper limit. So in, the, in terms of the group of units, that means the group of units modulo n, and recall that that is all numbers that are relatively prime to n between 1 and n. So every number in this group of units can be written as a power of r. So we have 1, which is r to the 0, r, r squared, up to r to the phi of n minus 1. We don't need to include r to the phi of n because that itself is 1. So let's look at some examples of finding primitive roots. So uh, let's first look at n equals 13. Um, so we want to first look at uh, phi of 13, which equals 13 minus 1, which is 12, because 13 is prime. And so that tells us that the possible orders of elements are 1, 2, 3, 6, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So, and that's because we know the possible orders must divide 12, and these are all the divisors of 12. So now what we want to do is pick a number between 1 and 13 and check all of these exponents until we get an exponent that brings us back to 1. Okay, so 1 will obviously not work because 1 to the 1 is 1. The order of 1 is 1. So we'll start with 2. So 2 to the 1 is equal to 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. 2 cubed is equal to 8. 2 to the 4th is equal to 16, which is equal to 3, because we're working mod 13. Now, 2 to the 6th, so now I'll use what's uh, in the back of my list to help me here. So 2 to the 6th is 2 to the 4th times 2 squared, which is 3 times 4, which is 12, which is negative 1. So now what we notice here is nowhere on this list is 1, so that means... <clears throat> The order of 2 cannot be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, so that means the order has to be 12. So uh, what we've just shown is that the order uh, mod 13 of 2 must be 12. In other words, 2 is a primitive root. Now, obviously, at this point, it's easy to check that if you square negative 1, you get 1. Um, but we don't even really need to do that because we know that all that's left as a possibility for the order is 12. In other words, phi of 13. Okay, good. Let's uh, do another example. So let's do n equals 8. And so we need to calculate phi of 8. So uh, let's recall that uh, phi of 8 is equal to 8 minus 4. In other words, 2 cubed minus 2 squared. We're using the formula for phi of a power of a prime, and that is equal to 4. Great. So that tells us the possible orders are 1, uh, 2, and 4 because they have to be uh, divisors of 4. And then also the possible primitive roots are 1, 3, 5, and 7, because we have to take numbers that are relatively prime to 8. 
Great. So now I'll just like say that one is not really a possible primitive root because its order is one. So let's check the rest of them. So we know each of these raised to the first power will not be one. So their order is not one. So we need to square each of those. We will not need to take their fourth power because squaring them will give us all the information. If squaring them gives us one mod eight, then we know it's not a primitive root. If it does not give us one mod eight, then all that's left is their order to be four. So let's look, three squared is nine, but notice nine is one more than eight, so that is one mod eight. Okay, so five squared is 25, so that's one more than 24, so that's also one. And then seven squared is 49, so that is one more than 48, which is also one mod eight. So that tells us that the order of all of these is equal to 2, but those were all the possible primitive roots. So that tells us that we have no primitive roots. Modulo 8. Okay, great. So this is the end of the video.